Now, why are measurements uncertain? Well, there can be many different reasons. Often you're trying to measure something with an analog scale, like a ruler, you're trying to measure the height or length of something. In this case, you generally can't measure the position to much better than the smallest interval. So in the case of this ruler, it's got an interval of one millimetre as the smallest one. The normal rule of thumb for this is your accuracy is going to be about half the smallest measurement interval. So if the measurement interval like a ruler is one millimetre, that means you've got about half a millimetre accuracy. Maybe you can do better than that, maybe you can't, but it's a bit risky. So for analog scales like rulers, half whatever the smallest indicator is. Often we use digital scales like voltmeters or stopwatches. Now on that, you might think the same thing would apply, half the smallest interval, let's say it quotes 2.37 volts, you might think the accuracy would be 0.005 of a volt. That's not normally the case. You can't normally tell for a digital meter whether it's rounding up or rounding down or rounding to the nearest number. And given that uncertainty, it's usually safer to say the uncertainty is the whole last digit. So if voltmeter quotes 2.31 volts, the smallest is hundredth of a volt, so that's your uncertainty. But remember to think about it. This may not be the case. There could be something systematically wrong. For example, if you're using a stopwatch, it might be able to measure the time you press the button to the nearest hundredth of a second, but because of human reaction time, the actual uncertainty may be much worse. Likewise, if I was trying to measure something with this rule of the ruler, but for some reason I can't hold it close, I might be uh, trying to look at the it from a distance, that's going to cause the uncertainty to be much bigger. So the simple rule is, if it's an analog scale like a ruler, use half the smallest measurement interval. If it's a digital scale like a multimeter, use all of whatever the last digit is, but always remember to use your brain, don't just follow the rules.